Barbados was the first society in this hemisphere where Africans were the majority. It's the first society in the whole of the Americas where Africans were the majority. The second society in the hemisphere where Africans were the majority was South Carolina. And South Carolina was founded by Barbadian slave owners. You see the connections? South Carolina was founded by the slave owners of Barbados who wanted more room to expand and to grow. And so they took possession of South Carolina. Again, the connection. We are speaking about the economics of slavery and its legacy, and this is where I wish to discuss Malvo's analysis. Barbados was the first place in this hemisphere where white folks realized that you could bring thousands of African folks across an ocean, place them on a farm, beat the hell out of them, and make a profit. That model, the Barbados model, became the model for the rest of this of this hemisphere, that you could go to West Africa, terrorize the communities there, extract thousands of persons, put them on a slave ship, bring them across an ocean for two months, land them on a place, drive them to hard labor, and make a profit 10 times greater than if you had invested your money in government bonds, in agriculture, and what have you. Once that model was established, it became a blueprint for every white person in this hemisphere who wanted to make a quick buck, break all the rules of humanity, drive people into the ground where mortality doesn't matter, make a profit, and become a successful citizen. Now, they were not brought across the Atlantic for show, to dance and sing. They were brought here for economic purposes, economic reasons, and we have to feel the sense of that because unless you understand the economics of this matter, you will misunderstand the future. Yeah. Now, of course, we can take you through this step by step. How, how it was calculated, how the analysis was made, how much you paid for a male African in West Africa, how much you paid for a female, the shipping cross across the Atlantic, the mortality cost, the landing price, the auction prices, the movement to the estate, 10 years of labor, then you die, you replace that person, you replace that person, increase productivity. We can take you through the economics of that process because at the end of the day, the balance sheet, the balance sheet had to show a profit. You're not going to go through all of that not to make a profit. It is about profit. And it is about the role of government in establishing that system to allow citizens to make that profit within the laws of the nation. The government created the framework, the legislative framework, the business framework, the trade policies, the trade laws. All of that was put in place by the government to allow citizens to maximize their profit from the employment of free African labor. The role of the government, the role of the state, the role of the state in framing and sustaining that structure for 400 years.